Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video, and today it is time to go through the Week 5 Challenges Guide, featuring the locations of the speed radar signs that you need to go through, where to find the flaming hoops for that challenge, the secret star for this week from the loading screen, and even more. That is right guys, we are halfway through this season, it has been going by so fast, it's crazy to even say that, but yes, today we're going to be going through tips, tricks, and secrets to help you get through every single challenge this week, all 8 of them, the 7 plus the secret loading screen, screen one, but get through them in the fastest, easiest way possible so that you can get back into the game, playing it for fun with your newly unlocked items, and also get closer to hunting party and fully unlocked dire. But yeah, guys, if you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button down below. Always helps me out a ton and encourages me to make more of these. And on top of that, be sure to comment down below what tier you guys are at currently. For me, I am at tier 72, but I'm curious to see where you guys are at since we are about halfway through the season. But yeah, guys, without further ado here, let's jump into it. First of all, going through the challenges for this week because as always we cover them a day early and big thanks to Deminer, Storm Leaks, and Toxic Wave 3 on Twitter for finding the challenge details. Big thanks to them and as always guys if any of these challenges change simply check the pinned comment down below for updates and if there's any updated challenges but I'm pretty sure these should stay the same for Thursday. But yeah as always we're gonna cover the secret loading screen star for this week but after that then with the challenges themselves we've got minigun eliminations got a super simple way to do that then record a speed of 25 or higher at different radar signs. I will show you all of the locations you need for those, then eliminate an opponent from closer than 5 meters. Deal damage with standard pistols, got tips for both of those as well, then jump through flaming hoops with a quad crasher and possibly an ATK or shopping cart, but most likely quad crashers, so I'll show you where to find those, and then deal SMG damage to opponents, and also deal tactical shotgun damage to opponents. So overall, some pretty interesting challenges, but let's go ahead here and jump into it with the first one I want to go over, and that is the eliminate an opponent from closer than 5 meters. It's definitely an interesting one and seems kind of tough at first, but it's actually really not that hard. So the best way to go about doing this is to 100% do Disco Domination. At least if Disco Domination is live tomorrow, I definitely think it should be, or at least do something similar. One of those special game modes is always best to do this in. And then like, for example, how far away is 5 meters? Because you have to get under 5 meters, I think, or maybe 5 meters and under. But generally, I believe that's like between 1 and 2 walls away. Maybe closer to the border of like the one wall, but generally try and make sure you're at least a little bit shorter than one wall away from somebody, if that makes sense. On top of that, what is the best weapon to use? By far, it is the double barrel. That one is so easy. I get so many eliminations just getting super close to people with it, but honestly, a tactical, a pump, just get close to people, especially in, like, disco domination. You just go to the objective, just drop in near somebody, and you should be able to get this one done pretty easily. But then after that, guys, we have the secret star for this week. And yes, we know the exact location of it, as always, and big thanks to two epic buddies on Twitter for getting the loading screens and showing off the loading screens so we can figure out the location of the star. So let's show you the exact location of that. And also, yes, this one is a star. It's not a banner. It's been switching back and forth. So next week will most likely be a banner. On top of that, if you do happen to be new to these bonus loading screen challenges, how they work is, first of all, before the star even shows up on the map, you have to complete every single challenge for this week. If you have certain challenges undone, the star will simply not show up at the location you need to go to. So make sure you've completed all seven of the ones for week five in order to get it to show up. I also need to test if the previous weeks need to be completed, but I'm pretty sure it's just the one week for each star. So yeah, but let's jump into it with the location for this one. But first of all, the overall location for this star is at the castle, and that is the one next to Haunted Hills and Junk Junction, right up at the top left of the map. And once you go there, the specific location of the star is most likely going to be at one of these two ones. It's in one of the towers for sure. It's just two of the towers will look like like almost exactly the same. So yeah, but the first tower is this one right here. So I'm thinking this is the one that it's most likely going to be in, but it should be up in this top little room. So you know, just land here, mine a little bit of brick and build up there, then break through it, and it should be inside there. Now for some reason it's not at this tower, it should be at the tower on the opposite side. So again, pretty much the same exact thing, just go over there, should maybe be in the top room. So mine some brick, build a staircase up to it, break through it, and it should be right there. Now for some reason it's not at either of those towers, check the other tower, but honestly, it really should be at one of the first two, since the other two wouldn't really make sense. But yeah, grab that star and you get a free tier as long as you complete the game. But getting into it with the next one here, the Mini Gun Eliminations Challenge. This one is definitely pretty interesting and it's always a fun one to get these, you know, random weapon eliminations. But that seems tough at first, doesn't it? Because nobody really uses the minigun and it's really only good for breaking down structures. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. So how can you even get an elimination and maybe even two? You might need one or two eliminations. Either way, this this tip 
tip will help you for sure. So first of all, what is the best game mode to do this in? Well, since we don't have 50 v 50, it's a little bit tough, but I could probably actually recommend something like squads because if you have teammates to play with, you can definitely get this done super easily. And by the way, guys, if you need teammates, definitely check out my affiliate Gamerlink. It's a free app for iOS and Android that basically helps you to find teammates in Fortnite and other games, and it helps out a ton with challenges like this. So if you want to check that out, link down below in the description. I've been affiliated with them for a while, and it's seriously just an awesome app. But yeah, once you have some teammates ready, jump into a squads game, and what you're going to want to do is obviously first find a minigun, and maybe you can share it within your squad and stuff like that. But basically, when you're getting in fights with other squads, do not finish off the enemies right away. If you can knock somebody down with, say, an AR, and then maybe like go up to them, put a box around them, you can finish them off with your minigun, and that will count as an elimination towards this challenge. Now, there is one little catch to doing that, and that is that you have to be the one to knock the person down in the first place for the elimination to count as your elimination. So simply knock them down with like a scar or something, and then use your minigun to fire at them and finish them off. Pretty easy to do. Keeping it going here though, we have a pretty important one, and that is the jump a quad crasher through flaming hoops. Or most likely a quad crasher, it could also be an ATK or a shopping cart, just double check that, but basically the toughest part about this challenge is to one, find the quad crashers in the first place, and two, to actually find the flaming hoops. But don't worry guys, I got six locations to show you here, and I believe you need five, so you know you can pick and choose which ones you want to do. Now first of all, I'm pretty sure these are the locations of them, because the flaming hoops actually appear to have shown up early in playgrounds. Like even if you go into playgrounds right now, you should be able to check and see some of the flaming hoops. So I'm pretty sure these will be the same ones for the challenge. And if for whatever reason they somehow change them, simply check the pinned comment down below for updated locations, but they really shouldn't change. But yeah, the first location that I want to show you guys is right next to Der Burger, or more specifically Greasy Grove. So basically go in front of the outdoor shop, grab a quad crasher from there, and speed on over to this location on top of the hill. There's a jump right there, and you simply use your boost to go through the hoop, and that should be one of them done right away. Now after that, you can actually keep going with the quad crasher and go over towards Snobby Shores, because there is another jump with a flaming hoop between Snobby Shores and the soccer field. And also if you need a quad crasher, there's some at the northernmost house usually, but either way, go through the jump that you can see right here, and that's another one done. The next one I want to show you is at Pleasant Park, so go right up to the south part of Pleasant Park. There should be some quad crashers on the hill, and then go immediately to Loot Lake and find this jump down near the edge of Loot Lake next to the fancy house. After that, you can go to the east side of Dusty Diner, and there's some quad crashers on the hill, so grab one of those, and then there's a flaming hoop that actually like flies over the divot. Now this one you might need to build a little ramp for, so just something to keep in mind with that one. But yeah, then for the one after that, it's next to Retail Row. It's to the east of Retail Row at that sort of RV park. There's some ATKs in there, and then if you go to the like weird vehicle statue thing, you can jump above it for another hoop. And then for the final one I want to show you, this one is actually the easiest, and it's next to Tomato Temple on top of this hill. But as you can see, the quad crashers are like right next to the jump, so you just get in one and go off the jump. It's super simple and by far the easiest one. But yeah, that should be enough to help you get the challenge done, so it shouldn't be that tough. But after that then, guys, there's actually two challenges I want to talk about real quick here because they are fairly easy, but still. And those are the deal damage to opponents challenges, but specifically the SMG one and the tactical shotgun one. Now again, how those most likely work is you need about 500 damage for the SMG one and about 200 for the tactical one. And the SMGs are obviously, you know, the ones that go from gray to green to blue, and then the like more fancier looking ones with the purple and legendary. And then with the tactical shotgun, shotguns, those are the ones that look like this. Both of those are pretty straightforward. Obviously, the best way to do them is to just pick those weapons up whenever you see them and force yourself to try and use them to get this damage done. And if you do it in something like uh, Disco Domination, again, if it's still live, with the respawns, you should get this done no problem. But honestly, you could get this done in like any game mode. Just use those weapons whenever you can, and you're bound to get damage done eventually. But moving on to the next challenge here, this is one of the most important of this week and one of the toughest to do just because it's hard to find the location locations of them, but it is the record a speed of 25 or higher at different radar signs. And by the way guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I post these guides every single week, a day before the challenges are even up. So if you want to know the best ways to do these challenges and get them done, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. But yeah guys, getting into it with this challenge, let's first talk about how to even get this done. Like what is a radar sign? Well a couple of the radar signs have actually been on the map since like season 5. I want to say, but they are these things that you can see right here. They measure your speed and if you're running towards them, your speed is like 12 or something, so you need to get 25 on a bunch of these radar signs that are scattered around. So obviously the best way to do that is grab an ATK 
or a quad crasher. But yeah, guys, let's get into it with where these locations are. And the first of which is the one that we've been showing you as an example. This one is right down the road from the Gus racetrack. So the best way to do it is go down there and grab an ATK from the Gus racetrack, drive it along the road a little bit. You know, you're taking a left outside of the Gus racetrack, go down there. And there's one of these radar signs right there. You simply drive past it and that should be part of the challenge done. Now, as for the next one, it's best to just go straight forward, keep going down this road because towards the other end of it, there is another radar sign that you can see right here. Now, this one is facing the other way, so you may have to turn around, but pretty easy to get. After that, though, there's another one near Pleasant Park. So again, you're probably going to need to go to the quad crasher spawn right here and then drive it all the way down the street, as you can see. And there's another radar sign that you can find right here. So simply drive past it and that's your third one done. After that, there's one near Dusty Diner. So go to those same quad crashers that spawn to the east of Dusty Diner, grab one and then head towards Tomato Town or Tomato Temple. And there's another radar sign near the tunnel. And then for the final one you'll need for this challenge, you'll want to drop at Lazy Lynx and grab an ATK. Once you have that, you want to go to the west, simply go down the road a tiny bit and that's where you'll find another radar sign. And if you've done all of the other ones, that should be all of them that you need. So honestly guys, a fairly easy challenge to get done. And then guys, for the final challenge of this week, this one is also pretty easy, but it's a little bit interesting the way they worded it. It's the deal damage with standard pistols, and that should be around 200 again. But the interesting part about that is what is a standard pistol? Now, I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of like 95% sure, but I think it's just talking about, you know, like the gray version, the green version, and the blue version of the pistols. I don't think it would be anything else because those are like the standard ones, especially the gray one. Like, how could you get any more standard than that? So it should be with those ones. Test it out. Doesn't really matter which game mode, and you should be able to get it done in really no time flat. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as on the left, the week four challenges guide, if you still need it. And then on the right, another fun video I'm sure you guys will enjoy. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.